Hello and a very warm welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a very important topic. And that topic is how to make sure that you get the most out of QuickBooks Online and ultimately how QuickBooks Online can make you save money. So join me as we talk about two really important aspects of making sure that you get the most out of QuickBooks Online. Let's have a look at it. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer of Fancy No Logo, that QuickBooks chaplain, the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly podcast, where it goes live each and every Monday morning, 8.30 a.m. for Ask the Accountant. Now, in today's video, we're going to make it straightforward. We're going to be talking about how you can use some of the aspects already in QuickBooks to make sure that when it comes to your tax return, you're making the most out of it. And in theory, if you do these tips now, you're going to be saving money in the long run so let's not waste around let's look at the first aspect of it and actually the first aspect of it is all about going to be your free app that comes with quickbooks so within the app itself getting it loaded up and you go to the menu area you'll notice there's an option here called mileage now mileage itself is really clever on quickbooks online what it does especially if you use this auto tracking feature at the top here when you enable it means that you're going to have the option now to be able to let this app do all of the hard work for you. What it's going to do, it's going to grab your GPS data, and every time you jump from A to B, it's going to record that as potential mileage. And then the idea would be that you could even include rules to automate this, but the idea would be that you'll find transactions like we have here, and you can say, is that going to be business, or is that going to be personal? And that's really, really clever, because recording the fact that you've gone from A to B means that that's going to give you an opportunity to be able to ensure that you take all that mileage that's there and actually make sure that you get to get the money that you're owed for it. Because if this was a business transaction, then what it will do is give you an opportunity to clean that 45p per mile. And don't forget that 45p per mile shouldn't just be the cost of the fuel, but it should be for the insurance, the repairs, the cost of the vehicle in the first place. So that 45p per mile should be a really lucrative way of being able to claim for your legitimate business mileage. The way it works, you get 45 for the first 10,000 miles you're doing in any given tax year. And then basically everything after that is 25p per mile. It's well worth making sure that you're recording it. And the QuickBooks app makes it super simple for you. But what do you do once it's there? Well, follow these tips. You see, get yourself logged into QuickBooks itself. From here, you can go to the left-hand side, expense, and then mileage. Once you jump into the mileage area, you then get to choose which period you want to download from. Let's choose last tax year. Press the download feature, press open file. Then going to tell you all the data that's been able to get for you. The distance and the deduction. And ultimately, you want to make sure that you're happy that everything's been reviewed. In my case, it hasn't, but in your case, you will. And you take that deduction, find how much it's worth, and that's going to be your claim for the period. But how do I record it? First of all, on your dashboard, make sure that one of your banks that you have connected is something like director's loan or drawings. If that's not there, no problem. Go transactions, chart of accounts, use the new functionality, go and create a cash at bank in hand, and call it drawings, expenses, director's loan. Whichever makes the most sense for you. See, the point of this is you're trying to make sure that anything that you're about to put in here relates to personal expenditure. Expenditure where the business bank account's not done it or your business not paid for it. You're going to be putting in items in here that relate to you making those payments. And mileage is going to be one of them, right? So that's why we're going to use it. Once that's done, we're going to go and press the new button and we're going to put it in the expense. The key here, though, is we've got to be really careful about where that payment on account is going to be. We don't want the business bank account. We don't really want cash on hand. What we want is that director's loan drawings account. Once we've got that there, Make sure you put a date that's relevant to this claim. And then you can start putting a category in. Now, personally, I would call it traveling expenses. If you don't have traveling expenses, use the add new button, change the account type to expense, detail type to travel. 
call it travel expenses, or again, anything that you're going to remember relates to your mileage. Feel free to call it mileage as well. Once you've got your travel expense or mileage, you can say description is per QBA. We're going to ignore VAT for this time. We're going to put the amount based on what was told there, which in this case, £886.60p. Bonus tip, use the attachment button, grab the file from QuickBooks, save and close. Now at that point, I've now recorded perfectly my mileage. What else can we do? Using that same idea of pros and expense, there are other allowances that HMRC give you you want to make the most of. For example, self-employed, you have the opportunity to use working from home. As long as you use this calculator, you can do a flat rate and claim those expenses in there. So, if I'm doing 101 or more hours in a particular month, I can claim £26. How do I claim for it? Well, back to the expense. Press new. Go to expense. From here again, key moment, make sure my payment account's right. Make sure my date's right. And I would create a whole new one called use of home. Use of home, you're going to press the add button. Account type is expense. Detail type, rent, use of home as a name. Press save and close. And then either I'm going to put in the monthly amount and claim each and every month. Or if it's just an annual amount, £312. Again. No VAT in this whatsoever, so make sure no VAT is being shown. Save and close. At that point, we've put two completely legitimate expenses directly in QuickBooks Online. And we've not affected anything to do with our bank or any recon reconciliation. What we've done is we've put the allowances we're owed for and put them through QuickBooks. And we've been using the app on your phone to make it really easy to claim your mileage. And we're able to make sure that you've got all of your use of home in there based on HMRC simplified expenses. With that, you should have everything you need to be making sure that you're putting legitimate expenses in to reduce that tax bill. And that's what the benefit of using QuickBooks is. It's about getting real-time information. So when I come along and have to do my reports for my final tax position, I know that I'm putting all of what I'm allowed to put through there directly in, which will mean you're not going to miss any of those key expenses later down the line. But let me know, is there anything else I'm missing? Are there any other expenses out there that you think you should be able to bring into QuickBooks Online? Let us know in the comments, and that way we might be able to do a further video on it as well. My name's been Aaron Patrick. If this video has helped in any way, please consider that like and subscribe button. And why not go and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on how you make sure that you're making the most out of QuickBooks Online. My name's been Aaron Patrick. This video has always been an absolute pleasure to do for you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to this new series. Hello and welcome to this video. 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 Alright, let's get it set. Let's do this. Oh yeah, you're alright. Yes, I'm aware we go live every morning. The next generation is that everyone else that missed it. Yeah. So come All right, you've told us what you love about the industry, but what would you change about the industry? Where do I start? During that period of time, where did everyone turn to? Their accountant, right? their advisor, their bookkeeper, and you all did phenomenal work for small business.